so much. Thank you so much. May God bless you. May God bless you all. Um, hello, everybody. Um, I hope you're all well and I, and I pray that God has been good to each and every single one of you. Um, today, our prayer points, we're going to get our prayer points from the book of Genesis chapter 37. But before we get there, I would just like to pray and just dedicate this time to God, just to, just to pray and thank God for bringing us together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just come before you right now, our master. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you for each and every single person on this call. Right. I want to thank you for each and every single person that we represent right here, our families, our nations, our friends, our, our colleagues, almighty God. Father, we pray today that we will not pray from our own understanding. We pray that the Holy Spirit will give us the words to speak. We pray that the Holy Spirit will utter the, the, the words that are truly in alignment with your will, almighty God. We dedicate and we submit ourselves to you, Jehovah. We pray that you open the eyes of our understanding in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the spirit of togetherness. Thank you that we're, two or more are gathered in your name. You are in their midst. Thank you for being a part of us right now. Thank you for being here before we even arrived. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for taking over the atmosphere, wherever we are, whether we're in the car, in our houses, in our rooms, wherever we are. Thank you that your Holy Spirit has taken over. We pray in the name of Jesus that you do what no man can do, almighty God, we cannot create the atmosphere for healing. You either heal or you don't, oh God. We cannot create atmospheres for you. You are there. You just are because you're the great I am. Therefore, we welcome you here in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray amen and amen. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. amen. I'm just going today, um, the prayer point to focus that we're going to focus on, I'm just going to quickly share why we're focusing on these prayer points. So I work with a lot of people, young and old people. And one of the things that I've recognized when I work with these people is most of us do not understand that we are living where the enemy has stolen people's identities and people's destinies. And some of those people, when you look at the scriptures and you look at God and you look at what's going on in people's lives, some people's destinies have been stolen, others' destinies have been killed, other destinies were stolen in a time of infancy. By the time somebody is grown and then adult, they are stagnant in their life. One minute they are forward and then they take steps back. And that's why I want us to deal with today in prayer i'm going to ask our sister ali if you can just open everybody just for further biblical understanding because i truly believe you cannot pray to god truly unless you are praying from a place of understanding and when i say that i mean sometimes we pray and we do not pray, but we don't get to the root of the problem. You don't know why you're going through these things over and over again. So every year you're going through a cycle because you don't understand the root of the issues in your life. So I believe in praying from a place of understanding. Therefore, I'm going to ask Sister Ali, if you can just open to Genesis chapter 37, and we're just going to use this we're going to use this particular a story of Joseph to help us with our prayer points today. Mm. So I leave, I could just read Genesis, uh, Genesis 37. Yes. From what verse? Just Genesis 37. I'll tell you to stop. Okay. Joseph's dreams of greatness. Now Jacob, sorry guys. Okay. Now Jacob dwelt in the land where his father was a stranger, in the land of Canaan. This is the history of Jacob. Mm. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers. And the lad was with the sons of Bela and the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives. And Joseph brought a bad report of them to his father. Verse 3. Now Israel loved, Jacob, loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. Also, he made him a tunic of many colors. 4. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. Five. Now Joseph had a dream and he told it to his brothers. 
and they hated him they hated him even more six so he said to them please hear this dream which i have dreamed seven there were there we were binding sheaves in the field then behold my sheaf arose and also stood upright and indeed your sheep stood all around and bowed down to my sheaf and his brother said to him shall you indeed reign over us or shall you indeed have dominion over us <clears throat> so they hated him even more for his dreams and for his words nine there for now thank you amen and amen our amen. first prayer point is this it's two things it's one prayer point to put into one. First and foremost joseph here was loved by his father joseph was loved by his father period but what joseph didn't understand at 17 years old was he liked to run his mouth way too much if joseph sometimes you know when i look at the story of joseph he was young he was probably talking to his brothers thinking he's in a company of family members he's in the company of relatives he's in a company of people who love him little did he know that he was speaking to the same people who do not even like him and who hate him what joseph lacked in this instance was wisdom what joseph lacked in this instance what discernment to understand who to share these things with and who not to share with. I will first prep on here because some of the things in our lives that are an issue is because we go to our family members, we go to people thinking they love us, and then you tell them the will of God for your life prematurely. And those people's intentions, you do not know what they are. And at the end, you end up instead now of Joseph. Because if you look at the, we all know the story of Joseph, all of us. When you read the, the story of Joseph, there is no part in his dream where Joseph saw himself go into slavery for him to end up, for him to end up as the leader for his brothers. There was not, it was not there. All he saw in his dream and his vision was right. that God right. had right. said to him, right. he was going to, he had a star right. and his brothers were going to bow to him. But because he spoke too much, instead of he, the destiny that God had for him to be straightforward, he had to be zigzags left, right and center. What I want us to pray for today, number one, is I want us to pray and ask God for wisdom. So that in this year of 2022, what God wants to do in your life, you need to learn who to tell. When God says to you, I'm taking you this far, you need to learn this year who to tell. Because so many of us have dreams, have goals, have visions, have places God has said we're going to go. But because we're talking too much telling everybody thinking they support us next thing they're the same people to sell you out to slavery all the time why is my life so hard why is my life so hard you told the vision that god gave to you to a witch you told the vision that god gave to you to a, your enemy a person who you don't who doesn't care for you but here you are opening your mouth silence is golden the bible says that the enemy comes to kill steal and destroy but the devil uses people to do these things so let us pray today that when, when we finish this fast, everything that we're praying for, whether you're praying for your family, you're praying for your healing, you're praying for what, let us pray for wisdom. Because we need to ask of God, when is the right time to testify? Not every time that you have a testimony must you testify. Because you might be testifying prematurely. And then those things that God was starting to do, now the enemy has an idea, an idea of what is going to, what is meant to happen in your life. I'm not saying let us speak, think, let's do things in fear. I'm saying we need to ask God wisdom at this time in this year of who do we share the things that God has said for us for. Oh, my daughter is getting married. Next thing, the a marriage doesn't work. Yeah, I'm having a child. My daughter is pregnant. Next thing, the baby, the, something happens to the baby. We need to learn when to share things. We need to learn to have wisdom as children of God so that we can see God do things in our life without the interruption of the enemy. So I want us to ask God for wisdom and let us not operate like a 17-year-old Joseph because the promises that God has for us must happen, but the devil is fighting against the children of God. So I want us to get into a time of prayer. The Bible says, whoever asks, needs wisdom, let them ask. Let us ask God for wisdom. 
How do we manage our businesses? The things we are praying and fasting for right now, how do we manage them? How do we do these things, Lord? Let us begin to pray and ask for wisdom Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we give you the praise. We give you glory. We give you honor, mighty God. Thank you. Thank you, Jehovah God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we give you the praise. We give you glory. We give you honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You guide us in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. The mighty name of Jesus. We give you the praise. We have prayed. We have been. We have been. We have We we that guidance, mighty God, and which direction to the mighty name of Jesus, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we give you the praise, we give you the glory, we give you the honor. Now we give you praise, we honor you, mighty God. We honor you, mighty God, that we are praying for wisdom. We are praying for wisdom, mighty God. 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 We are praying for wisdom, mighty We are praying for wisdom, We are wisdom, wisdom, Jehovah God. The enemy will not take advantage for lack of wisdom. Father, we give you the praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you the glory. Father, we give you the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I believe in practical Christianity. I believe in practical Christianity where we can put things into practical and do things. We know that God is for us, but how do we know that God is for us? One, the next prayer point that I want to focus, I want us to focus on is from the book. Bear with me. It's from Exodus 1, verse 22. And this is about the about Pharaoh. And I want us to think, because I want us to think about our destinies. The first thing when it comes to your destiny, the first prayer point is to how can you protect your destiny? But the second prayer point is, is, is the lens in which your destiny can be derailed. The less in which when God, the Bible says, when God made you, when he formed you in your mother's womb, he knew you. There's mm. some of us here on this call where we should be further in our lives than where we are today. Somebody somewhere somehow has manipulated mm. our stars. Somewhere somehow the enemy in the in the realm, in the spiritual realm has manipulated your progress in your life. Every single time you start something you cannot finish. Some of us, it's not even us. Some of us know people in our lives whereby one minute they start a course but they never finish it. Or mm. they start a business and it never works out or they get a contract next thing it is gone there is always something that is stopping your progress somewhere somehow there was a pharaoh who is trying to fight your life if we know that we all know the story of moses most of the time in the, for what there's so many people and if it's not this is not got to do some some of these things i want you to pray if this is not for you pray for family members who you know that their lives are, are in standstill 
You need, we know people who their lives are at a standstill, whose lives are going round and round and round. I like the story of Pharaoh in Exodus chapter one, when he talks about Moses being born. When Moses came around, Pharaoh very started hearing that there's going to be a deliverer, the deliverer of the Israelites deliverer of the Israelites. The enemy hears about you. He doesn't even know. He can hear about you from somebody else. From somebody else. Did you hear? So-and-so is about to graduate. Not even from you. Somewhere. And the enemy already put things in motion for your life not to move forward. Somewhere, somehow. That is how the enemy works. If we go even to Matthew chapter 2, we can look at the birth of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 2 that the star of Christ, you could were able to see it from afar because a star represents your destiny. And back in those days, they, dreams, things like dreams were important because dreams meant things were going to happen. Whatever dreams said back in the day, it was, it, it was a big deal. That's why when Joseph brothers heard what they heard, they got so angry with him. This, your star, you don't know how bright your star is shining. One of yeah. the prayer points I want us to pray for right now is for us to pray. If there is a part of your life, whether it is your career, whether it is your finances, whether it is your business, whether it is your family life, whether it is your children, that your destiny will not be interrupted the way that, that, that the enemy wants to interrupt it. The Bible says in Matthew 2, 16 to 18, that Herod was angry because he felt fooled by, 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 the, by the wise men. He felt fooled by the wise men because the wise men then ended up not going back to him because they, if we read the whole story, can you just go to Matthew 2 earlier? Just read maybe from verse 10 going down to quickly just give us an idea because I want us, this is a serious thing. So many people are walking with half destinies. So many people have started books that they haven't finished writing. So many people have started songs that they haven't released. So many people have started degrees that they haven't finished. We can't be those people this year. You have to fulfill Amen. your destiny. Amen. So could you please go to Matthew 2, verse 16. Matthew 2, just read down there to see how far the enemy will go to see you get reach, your, reach where God wants you to go. Can you please, can you please read uh, Matthew 2, 10, please, going down. I'll tell you when to stop. Yeah. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then, being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another way. 13. Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph, to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt and stay there until I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. 14. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophets, saying, Out of Egypt I called my son. 16. Amen. Then Amen. Herod... No, continue, continue. Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived by the wise men, was exceedingly angry, and he sent forth and put to death all the male children who were in Bethlehem and in all its districts from two years old and under according to the time which he had determined from the wise men 17 then was fulfilled what was spoken by jeremiah the prophet saying a voice was heard in ramah lamentation weeping and great mourning rachel weeping for her children refusing to be comforted because mm. they are no more mm. 19 mm. Now, now when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who sought the young child's life are dead. 21. Then he arose, took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. 22. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea instead of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. And being warned by God in a dream, he turned aside into the region of Galilee, and he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, Sister Aliyah, for reading. Amen and amen. When we are reading that, 
Jesus was already prophesied about. I always say to people that you have to know that the fact that your life, mm -hmm. that you were in the mind of God, means God knew your existence. The fact that you were in the mind of God when you were formed in your mother's womb, the fact that he knew you before he even made you, your life was prophetically put for you to be placed at this time, in this century, in this decade. Therefore, you must live to fulfill your destiny. Whilst Jesus was still a little Baba before he even came, already the enemy was operating of what to do in his life but look at what God does God protects his own children you will fulfill your destiny because the heralds in your life they are not going to live to see these things happen to you that they didn't want that the way they do not want to see God do God's will being done in your life I want us to go now into a time of prayer I want you to think of yourself as a young person and I want you to think about everything that has been said about you since the day you were born this is every good thing not every bad thing i want you to remember even prophecies that you forgot about that you were given two years ago that prophecy where somebody said you're going to go into nations and you're still standing here that prophecy that you were told years ago just think since the time you were born since the day you were born when your mother told you that you are going to make an influence all of those little prophecies and big prophecies that you were given that you have forgotten about i want you to go into a time of prayer and i want you to pray and say father in the name of Jesus. What you spoke for my life must come to pass. It must happen in Jesus' name. If there are Herod standing in my way, if there are Pharaoh standing in my, in my way, may the fate of Herod be their fate because they, I cannot live a life like this. And I'm not asking for death upon witches. I'm not, I don't even know what, what witches, I don't even, I'm not even thinking about witchcraft. I am thinking about even sometimes yourself, you are your own enemy. You are the own person stopping yourself from going into your destiny, but not this year. When Jesus Christ was born, he was given protectors who were his father and what his father and his mother. God spoke that this is going to happen for him. God has spoken life over you. God has told you that I know the plans I have for you. My plans are to prosper you. My plans are to give you a hope and a future. God says, I have redeemed you. You are not condemned. God says you are a head and you're not a tail, but every Every day you live like you are at hell. Every day you live like you are behind. Every single day you're asking yourself, how am I going to do it? But God says, I am your strength. You can do all things through me who gives you strength. But every time a situation comes, you feel weak. I want you to go and think about all those things. And when you stand, pray for your destiny. Pray for your life. Pray for the promises that God has spoken over your life. That you will, you will fulfill them in the name of Jesus. Let us go into a time of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just can we come before you right now. God, I pray for my destiny. I pray for the plans you have for me. I thank you for the plans you have for my life. I thank you that when you found me in my mother's womb, you knew why you made me. I am not a mistake. I am made in your image. I am made in your likeness. I am made by you, almighty God. You are in the mind of Lord, I bless you because I am not a child. I am the herd. Therefore, Lord, I bless you because you are able to speak to me in the name of Jesus. I bless you because you are able to correct and lead me. You are again in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that Lord, every thing, every thing that you have spoken about my life, the Lord, the enemy, the Lord, 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 we are the end of my self. 
Father, you are coming to them in the mighty name of Jesus. You are speaking to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, I glory and glory and glory for your name. My dear God, I thank you and I bless you. My dear God, I thank you and I In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Three Amen. 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 Those are our pastors. Those, that is that one friend that you can call to pray with you. Jesus had a destiny protector, and that was Joseph. He had the destiny protector. Moses had a destiny protector, and that was his mother and his sister. But Joseph, Joseph had God himself. Joseph had God himself because even when he was away in the land with nobody there, God still showed up for him. I want us to pray to God for our destiny protectors, that mm -hmm. God will strengthen them because these are the people when you cannot pray. Let's look at these things. Jesus was still a little bubba in his mommy's tummy. He was, uh, Moses was a little bubba in his mommy's tummy. If you think these were very sensitive, vulnerable moments in their lives that the enemy tried to come and attack. Most of us here, the enemy comes to attack us in the most vulnerable positions in our lives. That one day when you have lost your job, that one day when you, depression has hit you, that one day when you miss your mother or your father who passed away, or well, that one day when you feel down, you have no money in your account. That is the day that the enemy wants to come and hurt 
to you because you are in your most vulnerable state. But that is why we need to pray for those who cover us when we are in those moments. When we are in those states, we must pray for those people. I know who those people are in my life. You pray for those people that God will strengthen them in their lives because you need them. Before Jesus Christ was a man, he was a boy. Then he became a teenager. Then he became a man. His mother had to feed him. His father had to feed him. He had somebody had to feed Jesus before he was a man, even as the son of God. And this is why I love Jesus Christ with all my heart because he mm. left heaven as the king of kings and he came and became a man just like me and you so he can understand mm. our humanly experiences nobody mm. understands what you or me go through more than jesus christ does mm. jesus christ was the fact that the enemy is so he's so he's he, he targets us he targets us so 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 mm -hmm. much and you find yourself, why, 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 why? It's because what you have, what you have is so great. And you mm -hmm. must live to see it happen. You cannot die without reaching your own promised land. You cannot, mm -hmm. you must fulfill the destiny in your life. But mm -hmm. there are people Jesus. that God has surrounded you with. Pray for those people because those people, God gives them eyes to see even when you cannot see. God gives them the, 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 the words to say to you when you need encouragement. So let us pray for our destiny protectors. And mm -hmm. some of us here, here are destiny protectors for other people. Imagine mm -hmm. if all the time, all people did was take, 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 and never give, give, give. No one prayed for all the day or the one who's needing help, but nobody comes in and, 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 and helps you. So let us pray for the people who pray for us. Let us stand in the gap for the people who stand in the gap for us. Because I guarantee you, they also have their own problems. Joseph now has to protect Mary and this baby. He's a man trying to figure out how he's going to manage a whole family. It's too much. It can be too much for our destiny protectors, but they do it anyways because God sent them in our lives. I want us to pray for them. Pray for them that God will protect them as well, that God will cover them as well, whoever they are in your life. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Thank you for the rain, Father God. Thank you for the rain, Father God. May they never be weary of doing good. May they never get tired of doing good. May they be less than beyond me. May you I 
Our last prayer point today, our last prayer point today is going to be about our salvation. Our last prayer point today is about our salvation. I want us to pray to thank God, to thank Jesus Christ for his sacrifice on the cross. When I testify of the goodness of God, it is not by our power, it is not by our might, but it is by the spirit of God that we are here today gathered. I would like us to pray and thank Jesus Christ just for who he is in our lives. The mm-hmm. fact that he, he did something so selfless, something that none of us here on this call can ever do. Mm-hmm. Even for people that we claim to love. But Jesus Christ loved the whole world he gave. He came and he died for us. I want us to go and thank God for giving us a way out. All of us here were sinners, are sinners, but because of Jesus, we are saved. None of us here have a blood that can, that can, that can, free or deliver us from ourselves but the blood of Jesus can Mm. the blood of Jesus has power Mm. the bible says in the book of revelations that every knee will bow and every time there will come a time where everyone will see that Jesus Christ is Lord and they will have to proclaim it but I want Mm. us to proclaim it today whilst we are here We don't even have to wait till he's coming to proclaim it. Because if it wasn't for Jesus Christ, what could you do? I look at the promises that the Bible has for me. I look at the promises that God has for me. And I, the fact that I know that if I ask these things in the name of Jesus, I will have them. Yeah. The, fact that yeah. I, the fact that the name of Jesus has that much power. That if I go to God and say, there is an issue in my life, Mm. his name is able to defend and fight for me. I must thank him. I must thank him. Sometimes we think because we are the ones going to work, we are the ones doing it. If it wasn't for God, you wouldn't be able to do anything at all. You are alive because he made you. Everything we have, everything we see is because of him. I want us to go into a time to thank him for that sacrifice. I can see here, it says, pray for my daughter, Tapiwa. This is from our sister, um, our sister Claire. When we pray for Tapiwa, I want us to remember this exact prayer point. The blood of Jesus came. When we declare his blood, when we call upon his name, he is able to heal. He can heal her. That is what being saved by grace and through Christ gives us. We are free from so much because of Jesus. Oh, yes. He has given us everything we need. Please let us go into a time of prayer. Let's go into a time of worship if you want to worship. I pray in the name of Jesus to heal the power. 
Jesus name of 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 Jesus I got everything I have was forever I want because of the name of Jesus. I live in a free way, Father, because of the name of Jesus. I am protected, Father, because of the name of Jesus. I can do all what I want to do, Father, because of the name of Jesus. I can drive out the devil, Jehovah. I can drive out all sorts of things because of the name of Jesus. The name that died for me from 2019 years ago. The name that is living, the name that is still alive, the name which will never change, the name which is above other names, we bless and praise you, we bless and hold your name, in the powerful name of God. Jesus, and we invite you on Jehovah God for the fever, we pray for total healing. In the name of Jesus, 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 Name that is a Thank you. Every single one of us on this call. If Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you don't need to worry. The Bible says in the book of Philippians, if you worry about anything, anything you worry about at all, take those things in petition. Do yes. prayer and give yes. thanksgiving. Give them to God. It is because of Jesus that you can. I always feel so sad when I see people who say they don't believe. And I wonder, where does your strength come from? Because our strength comes from the Lord. He is the lamp unto our feet. So I don't yes. understand how, how, how. How, how, but you yes. and me here have come to that understanding that yes. Jesus Christ is Lord. So why worry about your life? Mm-hmm. 
Don't Hallelujah. worry about your life. I know it is yes. easier said than done because I'm a warrior. Yes. But why? What is the point? Jesus said you don't add anything into your life. You don't add anything mm-hmm. at all by worrying. So what's the mm-hmm. point? <sighs> we have Jesus. We have Jesus. Right. If you had nothing else in this world, mm-hmm. you have Jesus. And if you have Jesus, you have more than enough. Yes, yes, yes. You have yes. more than enough. Father, we pray. Jesus, I remember a time in my life when I looked at God and I said, all I have is you, as if that was a bad thing. Mm. It's a good thing. It's Mm. a good thing. It's a good thing to have Jesus. Yes. It's a good Mm. thing. Mm. Don't ever let circumstances and situations tell you that it isn't, because that doubt will come and make you question. Mm. Is this God that I believe in truly alive? He Mm. is. Mm. He hears your prayers. He hears your cries. Mm. You have Jesus. You have more than that. Give you praise. Oh yes. Jesus Mm. name. I'm going to thank God and just give the this time back to Evangelist. God bless Mm. you all. God bless you. Much God bless you, God hallelujah! Bless you. Hallelujah! Ah. Hallelujah! Let's just give God a big hand crop offering, yeah, hallelujah! Jesus. Hallelujah! Thank Father, we praise your wonderful name, we glorify your holy name, you, hallelujah! <laughs> hallelujah! Uh, please, if there are any prayer items you want us to pray for, uh, just uh, pop them uh, in the chat. Uh, we are going just to pray for uh, Julius. Uh, or is sick. Uh, there's a prayer item there. And also we are going to pray uh, for Brother Mario Tivesa. Uh, those who have been attending meetings, we've been praying. One of uh, the members uh, from Kids Green Warwick has been in and out of hospital. We continue to pray. And also we are praying for Julius, who is not feeling very well as well. Somebody has posted uh, in the chat. Uh, please, if you have any prayer items you want us to pray for, just uh, put them in the chat. We are also going to pray for our sister, Busi. Uh, in Manchester, one of our church members of Warwick, uh, she'll be traveling to South Africa on holiday and we uh, to, to visit family, to attend funerals that have happened in between, and also for our daughter who is looking for a job. Uh, she's completed school and everything, and she's believing God for a job. So let's just agree together for those who are not feeling very well. We, we're going to pray for Brother Julius. Uh, we are going to pray for Brother Marriott, and we are going to pray for Sister Busi, Janet messes that uh, she'll travel safely and go and uh, pay her last respect to the family of those that have departed. Uh, let's just uh, pray together uh, before we begin to wind up and Apostle Sam will come through. Let's pray. Father, we give you the praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. As we have heard from your woman servant today, Jehovah God, that you are a God who has given us dreams, who has given us visions, oh God, and you want us to achieve them. Father, that even for your people who are not feeling very well today, we pray that King of Kings, they have a dream, they have a vision, they have a great work they need to do. Father, we pray for Brother Mario, we pray for our Brother Julius, it is God, as they are not feeling well in their bodies, we stand together to pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, we give you the honor in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. Remember, Sister Wosu will be traveling to South Africa and those that might be traveling uh, to other places, mighty God, we pray that King of Kings and Lord.